<laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Do I got a tutorial for you guys today? What's up? My name is Activator. I've done some tutorials here before, but welcome back. We're here for another one because, yo, check this out. You ready? Watch. All right? Simple beer. Crack it open. Get ready for the pour. And then. Oh, I got to move this out of the way. Hold on. <laughs> All right, granted, granted, I blew it there on on the foam. You can see how much of my beer is now ruined for that. That's always a good time. Hey, welcome back. Yeah, brand new video for you guys today, and I'm here to show you exactly how I just accomplished that. So stay tuned, man, because you're doing that live on the fly. Get excited, man. This is pretty cool stuff. Today's video is sponsored by MoveGraph.com. MoveGraph.com is all about taking your visuals to the next level. From alerts to animated screens, Twitch panels, stingers, transitions, animated overlays, and webcam overlays, MoveGraph has everything you need to really boost your stream. As someone who's all about quality, MoveGraph designs these elements that are clean, crisp, animated, beautiful, and designed with a professional's broadcaster's mindset to bring small casters, medium casters, and large casters to the next level. MoveGraph.com is all about giving the high-end graphics to really take your visuals to the next level. With more than 16,000 broadcasters using MoveGraph, this should let you know how good their quality is. All the alerts, animated overlays, and everything coming in from MoveGraph.com works across the whole board. I'm talking stream elements, stream labs, OBS, whatever you have in mind to take your streams online. Get the quality you deserve with MoveGraph.com. Now you guys can utilize code activator to get yourself 10% off today. And I'm talking, it works across the whole board there. So if you want to get yourself a little stream upgrade, get on over there and use code activator on the house. Today, we're going to be jumping into this thing. I'm going to show you guys exactly what you can do here. And it gets a little bit more intense than just going into slow motion. So we're going to jump right on in. This thing is called dynamic delay. I had, I had to look it up. I'm, don't worry about it. So to set this thing up, not only does this thing do slow motion, but it does a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a nice little instance of OBS here. And right off the bat, I'm just going to add myself a camera. It's going to be my face cam. All right. So next you want to go over to uh, the OBS forums website and you're going to want to download a file. It's actually a uh, plugin called dynamic delay. Now you're going to want to download this, the, the, the one that pertains to your system. So I got a windows. I'm going to go ahead and hit download. It's going to download this thing right here. And now I got this little zip file right here. So it's really simple, dude. All you got to do is extract all, hit enter. There, go up go. It's over there. Up goes a little, a little folder. And now inside this folder, you have a couple things here. You could manually place these inside of your OBS or whatnot, but you don't have to. You can just double click on the installer and install it. But make sure OBS is closed when you're installing. I'm going to say it again. Make sure it's closed before you install. After you go to the install, you don't need this file anymore. Delete that. So once you, uh, once you have that going, now the filter's installed, all you gotta do is right click on your source and add yourself a nice little dynamic delay. Now, when you hit that button, you're gonna get some options here. But first, before we actually get into what's going on here, they actually include something kind of cool. So here's something kind of like get to wrap your mind around what's happening here. First things first, you, you, need, to, you need to add a little text. So you don't have to do this. This is kind of for your own visual reference here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some text. We're just gonna call this one, two, three, all right? So now we got some text here. I'm gonna leave it on uh, 72 f uh, font size. It doesn't matter what this is. Leave it on Arial, except I do wanna turn on like a little outline or I don't know, something, little background opacity right there. And I'm just gonna click okay. Now I didn't enter any text. It doesn't matter, man. So here's what you need to do. Go back into filters, go over here. And now the source, you need to type one, two, three, because that's the name of our text source. And just like that, some weird text pops up here and you are kind of good to go. I'm going to slide this on over here. And now you can see that we have some weird numbers up here. I, this is why I usually flip my cam. Like I actually just went back to normal, but I usually flip my cam because I'm usually pointing to things. It doesn't matter. So now you're going to see some, some visual representation of what's going on with uh, the text over here uh, utilizing 
uh, the tool that it that offers you to go ahead and put some stuff in here. So I'm going to leave this set up like that. I'm going to go to my settings. And uh, the next step is like, you have to do this. If you don't do this, it's not going to work. So go to, go to hotkeys and you're going to scroll down until you find video capture device. That's going to be your camera. Now, if you'd labeled it something else like camera, it's going to be called camera here. Anyways, so you got a bunch of options here. Uh, these first four, don't worry about it, man. It's for like your microphone and, and all that stuff. Don't, don't worry about that. But what you do want to worry about is the skip begin, skip end, forward, slow, fast. Yeah, you can do all this stuff right here. I'm talking rewind. Fast forward, slow forward, uh, slow backward. As you can you can take like a still frame for a certain amount of time, but we're gonna get into that in just a second. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit some generic hotkeys here. And I'm gonna use my numpad. So over here on the uh, the forward, I'm gonna hit three. Slow forward, I'm gonna hit six. Fast forward, nine. And then with backward, I'm gonna do one and then four and then seven. So basically I'm using my numpad, but I'm going up. So like one, four, seven is my reverse and my three, six, nine on the right side of my numpad is forward stuff. Anyways, then on the uh, the top over here, I'm going to label this as skip to end. That's going to be number eight and uh, skip to beginning. I'm going to make that two and pause. I want to make it five. Now I'm just utilizing my entire number pad. Just why not? OK, then I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to hit OK. Now, again, you can you can start to really customize this and putting it like within your stream deck and stuff. So you can operate this all without your numpad. But for this demonstration, we're going to use a numpad back over here into the filters. Uh, you got a duration. This duration is how long your effect lasts for. So I'm going to set this to five seconds. So easing over here, uh, that's actually going to be the way that it goes from whatever your effect is back to real time. Now, I could get into how this all works. Just play around with it and see what you like, man. They, they all do different kind of things. It's good to like try it out and your uh, your easing duration. So how long it goes from like your your crazy video stuff to your uh, your real time stuff. That's going to be your uh, your duration of how long that kind of like lasts. It kind of sets you up with a 50% uh, on the slow forward and a fast forward at 200%. So basically like when you go half the speed then you got to go double the speed to get back to it. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to like go with what they got it set here. You can set it to whatever you want for this. I'm just going to type in, um, let's do 40.00. I'm going to leave it like that. And just so you guys can kind of see, I'm going to do the fast forward. Nah, I'll leave the fast forward as it is. Everything else, I'm just going to leave it as is. It's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, close. And now we have our, uh, our screen here. And just for giggles, I'm going to go ahead and right click full screen projector preview this thing. That way you guys can kind of see everything that's going on. And, uh, you know, since it is COVID times, I might as well show off the luscious, the luscious locks. Yeah, I know I need to get a haircut. I'm kind of, I'm kind of going until like, oh geez, I'm kind of going until like the end of the, like the year. I'm going to see if I can get to that like John Wick level, man. Park that down the side, get that Keanu Reeves. It, 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 anyways, check this out, dude. So then now all I do, all I got to do is just press a freaking hotkey on my numpad. So numpad six, I know that that makes it go slow motion. So when I hit six and then I start shaking my head, right? Now you can see it's in slow motion. Now, again, it will get like once once this runs up to five seconds up there, now it's going to start to want to try to catch up. So you can see me like clapping here and I'm not clapping yet. But then there's the clap. So uh, th there is like a bit of a buffer. So if I now hit fast forward, so that's my number nine, it's going to fast forward through everything and get right up in and watch my hands, watch my hands. And now we are back to normal speed. Kind of freaking cool, right? We're talking about some like, some matrix kind of stuff over here. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you got other things here too. Let me put back on the old, the old baseball cap here, you know? All right, looking pretty good. All right, so now if I push five, watch this, ready? Now I got the, now I got the freeze frame. So that's, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Again, you could hit nine, fast forward through everything, but here's a little trick I wanted to teach. Uh, so if I go back into the, uh, the slow motion here, let me go ahead and do a little something different. So I'm going to go ahead and hit six. All right. So now it's replaying right now, right? And it's in, it's behind. So what I can do is I can go ahead and hit eight and that is going to jump me right to the beginning or right to like the, the last, like now it's going to be jumping to real time. Uh, I can also hit two and take it back. And then it kind of just talks about what happened five seconds ago and then it's going to keep buffering. But you know, if I were to, if I were to increase the, the delay to like 10 seconds, I could go back in time like 10 seconds. Like it's kind of always buffering, right? So what else can I do here? I can always hit a uh, number, uh, number one and it's going to start to play everything backwards. So now I'm going in reverse, right? So if I did something kind of cool, like, you know, maybe I do, maybe I do this and then I go like this. Now it's going to do this in slow motion backwards. You see what I'm talking about here? Kind of cool, right? Some really cool i don't know what you're going to utilize this for but i thought you guys might kind of get a kick out of this so uh yeah that's 
that's that's this whole tutorial in a nutshell and i wanted to show you guys that because of how cool it is and now i'm trying to get my own head around like how am i going to use this like you know maybe uh maybe if you combine this with like a motion thing where like the screen kind of blows up and then also you kind of go slow motion right when you die right you hit a hockey and you're just like oh no now the only downside is that the audio doesn't sync up with this so that's going to be kind of on you i kind of i'm a little lucky here so i can actually come over here to uh my go xlr you know i can go like uh no shit dude you know and then my go x my go xlr kind of takes care of the rest you you kind of get the idea of it that's it man just that simple you can have some cool slow motion in your channel so you know consider you're doing something in your apartment you're maybe using like a wireless camera and you want to do something crazy in slow motion you hit a little hockey or something like that and then boom you're in slow motion man you know what i mean so i've already hooked, hooked this up to both my cameras so technically i could like do two different slow motions over here i'm gonna do uh this one's gonna start now and then this one's gonna start now and then look at those they're both completely off from each other so that's always a good time so kind of cool something kind of new that you can play with and test out if you guys want no pressure go have fun with it learn learn new there's new plugins all over the place you should always keep your eye out for new plugins because there's always cool stuff out there anyways that that wraps it up for today again code activator on movegraph.com get yourself 10 percent off on uh, overlays and whatnot kind of like i just had an overlay with my webcam same place i'll uh, i'll catch you guys later have fun stay safe you're awesome like and subscribe. I don't want to say it, but here I am saying it. Like and subscribe. It would help me out. All right, I'll catch you guys on the next video. I, I know, okay? I'll, bye. Bye.